So the intention is to have, so hi, welcome to the Chaos DEI <laughs> meeting <laughs> on November 8th. Um, so the intention, um, Daniel, is to have, this would be the primary landing page, as I kind of had mentioned. And all of, like a lot of this text and all of the pages that kind of go with this would just be like move to the side temporarily, right? And so this landing page would just be badging.chaos.community. And it would just be a single page that would say something like, welcome to badging, broadly. Um, click here to apply for, and this would have to be updated, apply for an event badge. And then we would have, I don't know how he's going to design it, but like another two buttons under here that would say apply for a project badge. And the, the apply for event badge would take you to the current page that we have on chaos. We are updating that to look more like this, but we're not there yet. And then apply for the project badge will take you to that, that project page. Um, the design elements that are here, you know, like this blue background kind of thing and kind of like the way this looks. We had a meeting on Monday and we were all like, that's a great, you could just, to Kingsley, we were like, you could just stick with that design. You know what I mean? It's kind of a uniform design throughout because it's kind of neutral. You know, so like the project badging would kind of take on this look, you know, to your to your earlier question. And Kingsley was like, no, I can do better. So so he's, he's coming up with, um, I think, some design components that would be reflected here on this landing page and then subsequently be reflected in the project badging page and the event badging page too, I think. You know what I mean? So all three of them kind of have a unified look. Does that help? Uh, yeah, thank, thanks for that. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think we're definitely big believers in just first iterations too, as long as it's working and then taking it from there with, you know, we are too. Designs. We we a hundred percent are too, and we kind of talked about that. Um, let's because event badging works at the moment. It's not perfect, but it does work. And so, like, we're happy to to continue to move that forward. And same with project badging. Um, we certainly won't get it perfect out of the gate, but we uh, it'll happen as we move forward. So, and honestly, that page that I was just showing, like, there's really not much. That's just a landing page. That's just honestly just going to be an HTML page. You know, there's no intelligence behind that page other than just some links to the pages that you need. So, okay. I'm catching up with all of the. Thank you, Marco. See, your PRs have been moved. And Sean, good job on your dog. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I, I, heard him, I heard him snorting, and I'm like, <laughs> that's him. I did actually think I saw you making a face, and I was like, is he making a face at my comment? No, about no. <laughs> that's why I made the comment. State? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. It's like, what the? <laughs> that's an ugh. What is the problem? <laughs> I'm just talking, no. talking about a blue background. <laughs> no, no, I was... Yeah, that's why I said that in the chat, just in case I didn't. I probably did. I don't have a good poker face, so if something's going on, you can see it. <laughs> All right. Um, good. I think we're making progress here. Elizabeth, do you want to do your thing? Um, sure. <laughs> Sounds so motivated. Oh, I lost the minutes. I have way too many. What is going on? <laughs> I'm like, where are the minutes? I don't know. What day is it? I don't know. Have you ever seen, I don't know, I'm not one of these people, but they have, maybe you all are these people, have maybe 50 open tabs and their tabs oh, are all like this tiny. And somehow people can pick out the right tab all the time. That I, can. I have no idea how they do that. Yeah. Um, okay. Thanks everybody for the badging chat. We are uh, making progress on that, which is awesome. Uh, let me just open the chat here. Make sure. uh, all that all that talk distracted me from putting an emoji in. You need an emoji today. Uh -huh. um, is Henriette, did Henrietta, she just joined, right? Yeah, here you go, here's the minutes. Henrietta for you. Okay, so I um, just wanted to remind everybody about this. Um, no meeting on this week, November 22nd. We're taking off for US Thanksgiving holiday. We're taking off that whole week. 
Um, and then, of course, no meetings December 11th to January 8th for our end of year slash holiday break, um, which we really hold dear. We, we hold fast to that every year because we just want to make sure people aren't getting burned out and that they have a break where they don't feel like they're missing something necessarily. So, yeah, we all just need a little break from time to time. So we do this every year. We um, find it really important to help keep us all coming back in the next year refreshed and revigorated and ready to go. Um, Cause we have a lot of exciting stuff happening in 2024. So yeah, we need that little downtime. Questions on that? It's pretty straightforward. I wanna know why your emoji is running. Oh, I'm just busy. This is oh. busy today. Yeah, I had that show this weekend. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay. Annoyed by that whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I do art art shows with my photography for those who don't know. and. They, there's a three day show and they made it four days. So now I have to be 12 hour days for four days this weekend. Like, no. <laughs> uh, that's, wor that's worse than a booth. It, like, it, what it is? It's, 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 <laughs> it's like 10,000 people at this show. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I will never do this again. Okay. Anyway, thanks for letting me. <sighs> sure, yeah, hopefully you feel better. <laughs> I do. Okay. Um, I wanted to revisit this onboarding course. Sadly, I did not uh watch the video from last week so i just was reading through the minutes um earlier and uh saw that there was some really good discussion i did see part of it but i didn't finish watching it so basically i'm asking this group based on this conversation we had last week what do we need to do to our curriculum here are there changes that we need to make or to think about Uh, here are the ideas. I'll drop this in the chat too. Um, this is, yeah, Sean. I, I that would be a good problem to have if I did sell yeah. sell everything and yeah. And then I then I would really be in a quandary. Yes. I'm just saying now that you've decided not to do it, this is what will happen. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be tempted to do it again because I'll be like, "Well, that wasn't so bad." No, it is. It's like having a baby. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So here are the modules we're thinking about putting together um i don't know i didn't know if this should change or stay the same or do we not even know i think it well with as we have but our friends with idea too yeah GitLab joining us a lot <laughs> we should probably change that uh, include yeah yeah number two number two yeah, yeah. A suggestion of um to open source platforms like github yep. and gitlab um Unless yeah. you want to do something specific, yep. but maybe like a general introduction to what an open source plat Git platform is like. Yep. Love it. You should probably add an S so us nerds don't get confused between open source software and operating systems. Wait a minute. I got to figure out this wrapping. It's just, why isn't it wrapping? There we go. Okay. We do go. what now, Sean? What are you saying? Uh, oh, it's just uh, OSS instead of OS because OS to I'm in a computer science department. When I see OS, I immediately think operating systems. Yes. Okay. Love it. Okay. I do so. Can you scroll down a little bit? I'm just looking at yours. Oops. No. Ah. What am I doing? I don't know. How, how do I add another? Oh. You have to shift enter. I think on Google Sheets. I'm glad we're recording this. So <laughs> you were there. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Someone who's smarter than I am can fix oh. that and make sure to add GitHub, GitLab, whoever else we want to add. Um, I know there was some talk last week about what makes our offerings different than what's already out there. I believe I heard, um, or maybe that was even the week before. I think Rhea brought that up, which is an excellent point. And so yeah. I didn't know if there were other things like, you know, the LF has a pretty good intro to open source course that they have. It's very, I think, technical from what I understand. And I think our kind of uh, spin on this is a little less so, a little more of the nuance around open source and how to communicate and how, like, what does asynchronous mean and what are the expectations and things like that. But I could be wrong. So I'd love to hear what everybody else thinks. I think Ruth didn't Ruth have a nice kind of response to that with respect to the 
the LF courses as an example that were offered in like as helpful as they are, just how these could be different in that in that respect. So if I recall, Ruth had a nice response okay. and she was comfortable. Um, okay. Mine is, so I, I, these are, if I look at the ideas, these are often very chaos centric. And I, so to me, part of the education program is that we, as the chaos project are focused on improving open source community health for folks. Um, and we do that through the metrics and tooling that we have. But part of that is a belief that the more people that we can have participate in open source, the healthier it is for everybody. And so I think a lot of these, and, and if they happen to join the chaos project, that's fine. But if they want to join other open source projects, that's equally as fine. Like the intention really in these courses isn't always to get people to join chaos, it's to understand and participate in open source at large. And so I, my, my hope is, is that, that the classes can be a little bit, we can maybe do one for chaos and then one for open source at large, that we're not just focusing on chaos only. Yeah, I think that was the intention from the beginning because this, okay. this to be fair, um, started as an idea to replace our onboarding sessions that we did okay. every month that were an hour long and it was too much information and nobody wanted to sit for an hour and let let me and Ruth, you know, just yell at people for an hour about chaos. Yeah. So, um, so that's kind of where it started. So, um, I think you're right, Matt. A hundred thousand percent agree with everything you just said. Um, so I think we we did envision kind of like this double um whatever however we want to call it course module whatever we want to call it okay uh, whereas one here's if you want to contribute to chaos here's all about chaos here's our working groups here's our how we you know interact with each other blah 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 blah. and then if you've never done open source before here's a place to start about that because that's a whole other can of worms so do we who is the we i know i'm guessing we have a project manager for this we have two two yeah. Mm -hmm. Peculiar and Yiga, and Yiga's okay. on the side too. So. Okay, so maybe I could ask Yiga a question. Oh, Yiga has yeah, go for it. No, go ahead, Yiga. Okay, so thank you. Um, I did want to ask a question about this. Hi, everyone. I did want to ask a question about um, this. So I, I want to clarify. Are we allowing people outside of the Chaos Project to contribute to the onboarding for, say, design contributions um, or any kind of contributions, especially if they are not the Chaos-centric contributions, like, like Elizabeth said? So um, I just wanted to clarify that. But I think Matt wanted to ask me a question. So. Well, we can address yours first. Elizabeth, do you want to? Yeah, that's a great question. We hadn't really talked about that, like open sourcing that intro to open source and um, taking contributions mm -hmm. folks from wherever. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. Why, like, why wouldn't we? But um, yeah, yeah. I maybe, agree. maybe not so much like with the 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 recording the videos and things. Well, I don't know. Oh yeah, because I was just. I mean. I, I think it, the thoughts came, I don't know, Elizabeth, if you remember like when we're having the meeting and then you said something like, um, if newcomers are able to point us or want to contribute, then that would be nice because newcomers would, you know, probably have questions that, you know, they'll throw at us that would make us look in that direction. So that was why I thought about it because um, I think one of the projects, the project board actually for this, I was just wondering, are we going to make it private? Like there, there are just a lot of things. So I'm glad we're talking about it now. Um, so what, I don't know, what do we think? Yeah, I, I don't think we need to make it private at all. I think doing this, building this out in the open is mm -hmm. kind of would be preferable for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, and as far as the newcomers, I was thinking newcomers to chaos um, because like okay. they're new to open source too, is like, like they're the experts in being newcomers. So that they're the subject matter experts that we want to involve. And that's a great way for them to get involved. Um, so I think that it would be someone who came to chaos looking for, looking to contribute, looking to learn more and to join the community. 
And then if they are also in, new to open source as well, then that would be a bonus, right? We could ask for their input on mm -hmm. what we're putting into these. What, what does everybody else think? I agree. I mean, okay. uh, any way to improve contributions and new content, new ideas, that, that'd be great. Um, there, there will be a point where it like kind of does, you know, um, become a little less open, like as somebody's recording it, yeah, <laughs> the video yeah. like that kind of yeah. shut down for a little while. But as far as content goes, yeah, we should probably be putting these slide decks like just out in the open. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, I would, I would, um, one of the things that that means is, I don't know, is it okay for me to put the form, the form that people feel to yeah, yeah. indicate interest on the top? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so sure. <laughs> I wanted to confirm. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now Matt's question, I don't know. Yeah, so my, my, it was more of a thought maybe now that I've had time okay. to think about it. So it was, um, <laughs> maybe we should, in terms of the project managers, or some structure internally to this have some folks that are kind of concentrating on chaos related videos, like a group that is just, mm -hmm. th that way they just, that group, whomever it might be, can, um, they just have a better sense of what has been done and what might need to be done with respect to chaos related okay. videos. And then probably the same for just open source general videos like a group of people that just focus on those, not talking, you know, the, you know, the open source 101 kind of, yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, um, on the project board, is it, I, I do know that it's possible to, so for example, on the project board, I can make it for each content, there can be a, what do you call it now? A tab, just the way in the spreadsheets, we have tabs for chaos content ideas, open source 101. So yeah. in that sense, on the project board, if you're working on introduction to open source, that's where you're going to be focused on. And then we can have the to-do, the in-progress, and the done. I don't know if that makes sense. Is that, is, is, does that solve uh, or, does that yes. a question? Mm -hmm. I okay. love that. I love that to do okay. in progress okay. and done. I fix like having folders. I think you were suggesting. Yeah, having something that explicit yeah. is great. Yes. Um. So then another thing is so for projects. Um. I was the the project that I created exactly. That's like I don't know if you just saw it. The project that I created was. A bit private because okay no that's that's me updating the readme the project that i created was private because i don't have the access to create a project on chaos directly i don't know how to explain it so i need access from elizabeth but i guess i'll talk to her about that yeah elizabeth can take yeah, care of it for you here. Yep, yeah for sure. yeah does peculiar need that too i think she's been creating right yeah, but I shared the project board with her. I had already created it, but it's private. That's like what I'm trying to say. So it needs to, since we're doing this openly now, it needs to be live on the chaos, you know, project. So once you click on projects, you'll see the project board there. That's, gotcha. that's like what it is. So yes, I'll be in your DMs. Thank you. Sean, you have your hand up. I just wanted to clarify something I said in chat. I, I do think project, two things. One, I think managing the project using uh, the projects in GitHub is useful and helpful and good. Um, so contrary to what I said in chat, I also wanted to ask if if this is an opportunity or a place, given the heavy engagement of GitLab, where we should think about having a GitLab organization for some of our content and possibly mirroring other content on GitLab. I know that's a bigger discussion than DEI, but I'm starting to feel a little bit weird about talking a lot about GitHub with our two GitLab partners sitting on the call. I mean, I, yeah, like, I think that is a, a larger conversation. About, yeah, it is. It is. It's just, that. I wanted to, I was just starting to feel a little weird about it. So I wanted to <laughs> say something. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, what is what does the community think? Is that going to be um, helpful, or is that going to be more difficult to coordinate? Like, what do you all think? I, I, I think have no should, strong feelings either way. So, just we, we we had discussed it before, and the coordination problem of spanning platforms certainly came up, and ultimately blocked like the wholesale movement of things over to GitLab. However, this we're at a different space and time now, and. Uh, uh, per perhaps a side conversation between um, myself uh, and maybe some of the other technology focused folks in the project with a GitLab person or people uh, just to have that uh, have that discussion from a feasibility technical utility perspective so that we would come to the community with a, a well thought out suggestion as opposed to chaos, forgive the pun. I mean, I, I would like I'd like to hear what the GitLab folks think. <laughs> I think happy to have you know a conversation or set that up, Sean. Um, just to have all the information that might be necessary to come to a you know conversation about that or a decision about that. Um, yeah, because I confess I'm not like I know that there are or projects that span both platforms, but I really don't know the operational details of how that all works. So maybe it sounds like maybe Daniel, you and I can have a side conversation sometime to start that discussion. I'm, I'm probably not the person to talk to specifically oh. about that, but I can probably find oh. find who okay. would be best to to do that and set that up. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Those kind of questions to figure out how that would, how that would move forward. I know Marco's in our Slack. Are you? Yeah, I'm in there. Okay, I'll just I'll leave it to you to initiate that in Slack then. You could just DM me or however you want to do it. Thanks, Sean. Sure. Sorry for the sidebar. That's okay. We like side quests here. It's fine. Um, okay, so Yiga, I just copied this because I think what Matt's saying is we should maybe keep these two things more separately. Yes, he's nodding. Okay, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> okay, thumbs up from you. So then we'll just take, you know, we'll just move out, whatever. It's okay, Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was in here messing around with it earlier too. I'm like, sorry, y'all. But I mean, even for the earlier discussion yeah. too of making this material potentially available for others to contribute, like I could see that if like on the chaos content ideas, like a new contributor might be like, I'm not terribly comfortable because I don't totally understand chaos particulars. And so like contributing to the auger slide deck is not going to be my thing. But I understand open source broadly. I come so I, I could see that this might also provide a nice um, distinction for people who may want to contribute in the future. That one is less specific and one is more specific. And the less specific one would probably give people a better opportunity for contributing. Agreed. Okay, so we will clean up the spreadsheet a little bit. Um just to make sure that the right ideas are in the spread to make sure correct. And then I have one other question for Giga. Have you Giga, have you started to try to identify people to narrate the slides for the videos? Um, so for the videos, I'm thinking that um, the people that will do videos are mostly people that have been here longer and know like, so for Augur, for Brimore Lab and stuff like that. And then again, um, since this is still in progress, we need to also share the form broadly. Although I know I caressed um, um, Enoch the other day on the call, right? And I just put it like in front of him. I'm not like, Enoch, you're going to do the, the thing, right? But I think we need to spread the form across the chaos community so that more people can volunteer and, you know, take it up if they know a bit about it. Because then again, we want more people to contribute, I think. So we'll decide which videos are better. Okay. For example, I don't know, I just had a thought. What if um, a particular video, um, different people work? So for example, there's a script and then this contributor takes um, records of video on this aspect of the script. 
and then another contributor records a video on another aspect of the script just so that the workload is not too much on one yeah. person does that also work is that doable yep that would be completely fine if they can transition between okay. each other yeah that'd be great okay so i'll just um, go ahead to what do you what do you suggest i do what do you suggest um, i do like the idea of uh, this onboarding form. I also think that uh, there's probably value in just reaching out. <laughs> I think you were alluding to Enoch, just reaching out to people directly who you know might have okay. an interest in saying, hey, I think you'd be great yeah. to, to, to yeah. narrate this okay. video. What do you think? And so, or at least write the scripts. Yeah. Because yeah. I think anybody can really read the scripts even if they are not super sure. I mean, that's my opinion anyway, but this writing the actual words would be somebody that would have to know. <laughs> the knowledge need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually I was thinking about yeah. more reading of the scripts, just finding people, a, you know, a, a global mm -hmm. diverse group of people who are willing to do that. And I know that's- That would be people, amazing. Yeah, yes. and some people are nervous to I think record themselves and put it on the internet out there yeah okay so i could just ask it, it doesn't hurt and let them know it's totally uh, optional of course yeah, yeah. you know yes okay oshan just oshan yeah. how did he do that <laughs> uh you, you base i mean you basically you can screen record and you don't have to have your face in it um it's not it's not necessary and i like for my class videos i've gotten away from using my face in anything because nobody cares about my face they just care about the content yeah actually okay so i'll be reaching out to if i mean if you see me your dms <laughs> yes i'm bringing in more work so yes awesome <laughs> you expect me yes thank you so much Max. yeah thank you Yiga. and i did add this form so anybody on this call that wants to um volunteer to help out Here's where you can do that. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. And if you have a specific topic you want to talk about or help out with, there's where you can do that too. So I yeah. might want to update that to say collaboration platforms. Yeah. Yeah. I will do that. Actually. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, let me just sit back here so I don't forget. Okay, cool. Well, we did have more to talk about today than I thought we we would. So we always do. Yeah. Can y'all hear my dog snoring? No. No. Kind of um, loud. no. Okay, good. My dog. My dog got bored and left. I know all about the snoring dog though at your house. So <laughs> she's disruptive. You should hear at night. I'm like, dude, go in the other room, <laughs> please. I just want to sleep. All right, anyway, sorry, we're still recording. Um, yeah, have a great rest of your day, everybody. We'll go ahead, if there's nothing else, any final? Right. We got four minutes, no? All okay. good. See you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.